Hey everyone, uh, my name is Radu, and in the next nine and a half minutes, we're gonna talk about WebAssembly and machine learning. And we're gonna have a quick look at WASINN and the new proposal for neural networks in WebAssembly. I'm a software engineer, I work at Microsoft Azure. Uh, if you've seen a bunch of Deus Labs projects mentioned today, I work on the team. Uh, we also do a lot of work with the Bytecode Alliance and the CNCF. And TLDR, I'm interested in everything that has to do with WebAssembly, machine learning, distributed systems, and most often, the combination of the, of the three. Uh, I'm a maintainer or contributor for WAGI, Crosslet, Hippo, Bindle, the HTTP extension to WASI, uh, and WASINN. Uh, this talk and a lot of WASINN has been uh, contributed by Andrew Brown and ming Soon Sun from Intel. So this is a, a shout out to Andrew, who's uh, I think on a sabbatical. Hope he's enjoying his time off. Uh, we're gonna talk about a little bit about WebAssembly and WASI, and then machine learning in WebAssembly. Uh, I, I paid very close attention. No one actually mentioned that WebAssembly is neither web nor assembly today, and that is absolutely a given at any WebAssembly conference. So uh, I think m a lot of people talked about what WebAssembly is and what WebAssembly isn't, but in short, it's just a binary instruction format for a web, for a stack-based virtual machine. But in short, it just lets us run cool stuff on the web that's not JavaScript only. But on top of WebAssembly, it's, WebAssembly has no mention necessarily of the web. You can run WebAssembly outside the browser pretty well, and that's where WASI comes in. It's a capability-oriented API, and essentially it's designed to standardize the execution of WebAssembly outside the browser. And what WebAssembly and WASI give us outside the web is a portable, lightweight, fast, and secure way of executing semi-trusted or untrusted code. And if you're just getting started or interested in getting in depth with uh, anything that has to do with WASI, you have to, to read uh, Lynn Clark's code cartoons. They are probably the best resource for anyone getting into WebAssembly and WASI. Why would we want to run uh, machine learning in WASM? Well, mostly for the same reasons we want to run anything in, in, in WebAssembly. We want the portability that WebAssembly gives us. We want the flexibility to run the same WebAssembly module anywhere. And specifically for machine learning, we want to run the same machine learning model across different architectures. We also want to have language agnostic access to different machine learning runtimes. And more importantly, we don't want to keep re-implementing the same CPU instructions and machine learning operators. But there are a couple of problems that, makes, uh, that make running machine learning in WebAssembly today not ideal. Uh, first and most obvious is we don't have GPU access in WebAssembly runtimes. There's also no multi-threading or other hardware acceleration. There are obvious missing, uh, missing uh, CPU instructions from WebAssembly that probably no one's gonna add for each machine learning framework. And then, in general, deploying machine learning in production, it's just difficult. So this is where uh, WASINN comes in, the, Web the WASI neural network proposal. Uh, it's a way of allowing us to load a neural network model into a runtime and essentially run inferencing on that particular neural network model. Uh, it's framework and format agnostic, so if you have an implementation, you can run it for PyTorch, TensorFlow, or any other machine learning framework or model you want to run it for. It's much faster than running inferencing in pure WebAssembly, and it's really portable. Uh, we'll see a recording of the same machine learning model and neural network and runtime on, across Raspberry Pis and Intel CPUs and AMD and GPUs as well. Uh, the current implementations are for the OpenVINO model and the Onyx runtime, and essentially it's a pretty simple API. It lets us load up an opaque byte array as a neural network model. We can initialize the execution context and bind some inputs as tensors. Uh, we can compute the inference and then get the output tensor using uh, a, a specific get output result. The API is written in Widex, which means for anything that you have either a code gen or you want to manually write bindings for Widex, you can do it. It's not fun. But in essence, if you want to write the low-level implementation, all you have to do is 
call the four main API functions that WASNN gives you. And you can implement that for any WebAssembly runtime. The interesting part is, uh, and here yeah, we're gonna see uh, the same neural network and the same runtime and the same WebAssembly module run across an Intel Mac MacBook using the WebAssembly runtime first, using the WASN time. There you go. I hope that's visible. Slides. Okay, I'll just let it run. Essentially, it takes the same machine learning uh, model built with PyTorch that does image uh, inferencing and now it runs it on a, on a Raspberry Pi. The great thing about this, you can cross compile WebAssembly from anywhere. And um, I, I mentioned earlier, we essentially can take the same model and the same um, runtime and run it in something like Wagyu. The, one of the important things is it's more performant than running pure WebAssembly. So you, you can have a look at the, uh, at the benchmarks. The actual inference is really, really fast. It's around two milliseconds. Tensor preprocessing -pre is the slower part. It's around 10 times slower than uh, the actual inference. The other part is you still have to run preprocessing in non-Python, which is not ideal. Uh, one of the other really interesting proposals we've seen re recently is WASI Parallel. And one of the ideas is uh, running the preprocessing using uh, WASI Parallel. You can find most of the implementations and resources about this uh, on GitHub. Any questions? Go ahead and repeat the question. Uh, the, the question is why it's faster than pure WebAssembly. Uh, essentially, uh, there are ways of running inferencing in pure WebAssembly. And the way that usually done is a re-implementation of the machine learning framework that's compiled to WebAssembly. WASENN, what it usually does is essentially you can offload the execution and the inference to the runtime. And the runtime has access to hardware acceleration, GPU, or anything like that. So what, what you do is through the uh, WASNN API, you pass the uh, model bytes, you pass the input as a tensor input, the runtime does, does the inferencing using GPU access, and then you get the uh, tensor back. Okay, uh, thanks Radu, that was great. Thank you. <laughs>